So I had done a video on death and explained how death isn't uh, when there's gonna when when there's going to be a death, okay? Uh, or there's a premonition that you have. It, you don't necessarily see death or see a casket or whatever. At least that's been my experience. You see sort of a walking or you see someone very sad and very solemn visit you in your dreams like a grandparent or someone, right, that's significant to you, that's important to you, that sort of is just really sad and you can sense that. So I ha So after I say all this, I don't follow my own um, recommendations, right? So I this is a dream that I had and so I'm going to explain it because I think it's really important. So I dreamed that I was walking and I wish I would have written it down because I didn't, because I, I, I'm like everyone, right? I didn't pay any attention to it and I didn't think it would matter and I didn't think it was important, okay? And so lesson to me, this is exactly the lesson that I give out to everybody that you need to write your dreams and the dreams are very important and that they're not something random that happens, that they're specific for a specific reason, unless you overeat or um, you have a lot of anxiety for whatever reason, or, you know, whatever, like being naked and, you know, and going to school, you know, that's just a lot of anxiety for school. It doesn't mean that you're going to go naked. Um, or you could, I don't know. So anyway, so after, um, after I say all that, right, I don't write my dreams down, at least not this one. And uh, I don't know, I've sort of maybe have been discouraged because nobody cares. <laughs> And I've really been going at it with dreams and nobody seems to care. So um, please help me expand my, um, you know, my viewership to help me expand the importance of dreams. And that's really why I have this, this um, uh, YouTube channel. There's no one in YouTube and there's no one that I have found that interprets dreams except myself or unless they, or they interpret it having to do with God or the Bible or whatever. And yes, that is significant. But that's not all of it. And it's about spirituality and it's about self, okay? And so, um, you know, please help me expand my YouTube channel so I can reach more people and I can bring in understanding about dreams. And that really is part of my mission as well as the tarot and the oracles and symbolism. And I've worked very hard to get to the point where I'm at where I could read the symbolism and convey, um, you know, whatever the message is to my viewers and to all the people that come into contact with me and seek me for knowledge, okay, or interpretation. So here it goes. So my dream that I completely, you know, disregarded was so important, okay, and it didn't make sense to me. And very interesting, I can interpret everybody's dreams, but I can't interpret my own sometimes because I'm too close. So that has a lot to do with it. So I'm walking, you know, the little I remember. <clears throat> so I'm walking and all of a sudden I'm veered. I go down another path. And in this path, I find these ants that I have. And there were like seven ants, okay? Um, ants like uh, like uh, familials, not ants, like little ants. Like they were my aunt. They were they were my relatives, okay? So, um, so I go through this... Um, and, and they were also my relatives through marriage. And so I go down this path and they're with me, okay? And I don't know if you've ever watched that movie, Bones, I think it's called. I was very traumatized by that and I don't take a lot of like, um, um, like I, I'm very conscious because I am a claircognizant and clairvoyant and I'm an empath and I'm a seer and so I am very conscious about what I intake in terms of media and uh, you know, movies and all that. So I, I hardly, I don't like going to the movies. They give me a lot of anxiety unless it's Batman and Batman's my boyfriend and I go watch Batman. But other than that, I just like, I don't watch, I don't watch any violence. I am very conscious about what I intake, okay? And I watched that movie a long time ago because it's part of my bath, right? And so I don't know if you remember, it was horrible. It was about this serial killer or whatever. It was horrible. I don't even know why I watched it. Anyway, so um, so he like kills all these uh, uh, women and girls and all sorts of stuff. And so when they pass over, right, when they are deceased and they pass over, there's a passing. There's a theory that when we die, we pass over. And so we pass over to spirit life, okay, heaven or whatever is, is over there, you know. Um, and so there's this, there's this scene in that movie where everyone that he that he had um you know killed this is horrible this is a horrible 
uh, uh, comparison, but that's the only type of comparison I can make. It was very interesting, and I should have taken that as a hint, okay? So um, everybody that he had killed, okay, um, there's a scene where they sort of like join, when they pass over, they join the other, the other girls that, that he had killed and so they were all together so when I was dreaming this dream and this has nothing to do with serial killers and I think I this is maybe inappropriate or whatever but this is how I relate and this is how I figure things out and now in hindsight now I understand why that scene and why, why I remembered that okay because this is the way it works so I was walking and then I veered all right so I was walking and then I see my aunts or I veer into a different route Okay, and all of a sudden, all my aunts show up. And um, and so it's sort of like that scene, like I was walking with my aunts, right? My familial, so they're like my aunts, they're my relatives. And, um, and I'm walking with them. And within the group, there is one of them that is not deceased, okay? And I'm just walking with them and I'm really happy and, and they're guiding me, okay? They're like taking me down this path. So I woke up and I was like, what a weird dream. <laughs> what a weird dream. Makes no sense, whatever. And I told my son, I said, you know what? I, I dreamed this. And then he said, well, that's awkward. And then he said, and so-and-so, the aunt that I dreamed that wasn't deceased, he's like, she's not dead, mommy. And I said, I know she's not dead. And he's like, well, why would she be there? That doesn't make any sense. And I said, yeah, I don't know. And he's like, well, that's not, she's not dead. And I said, I know she's not dead. So I just said, what a weird dream. I just like, you know, just really weird. Didn't make any sense. I don't know, okay? I said, and then they take me down this path that I wasn't going through. So then um, this week, um, yesterday, actually, I was walk. it was a weird day. Like I was supposed to have like this class and then I, it's a class that I'm, physic that I'm physically taking, I'm taking, I'm not giving. And then I figured that it wasn't that time. So then I had some time because I woke up really early and then I start walking and as I'm walking, I'm having a really good time. This is that really good walk, grounding myself, you know, so I can get ready for the day. And then I see that there's gonna be a huge message coming. Like I just like, that's what I sense, right? I'm claircognizant, clairvoyant. So I have, I'm a seer. So I could see based on everything that I'm seeing that I'm gonna have a huge message coming in, okay? All right, that's it. I never thought it was about death. So anyway, so what happens? Boom, 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 right? Seven o'clock in the morning, my ex texted me and he said, you know, I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, very sad to convey this message, but so, but so and so passed away. Our aunt, right? My aunt based, you know, from, from marriage, okay? And it was the aunt I dreamt that wasn't deceased, all right? And I said, oh my God, I was, I loved her dear. She like, you know, and this is, um, you know, this is a testament to her uh, compassion and her caring ways. And she didn't have any children. And when I was pregnant, she helped us so much and she helped me so much with my marriage, um, you know, at that time. And so, so anyway, so, um, so that was the dream. The dream was that she was going to pass. And actually the dream was like her showing up and I don't know when she passed. So I think that, well, I dreamt it two weeks before, so she was getting ready to pass. Okay. And all these aunts have come to me and have bet like bid goodbye. Okay. So, so they have like said their goodbyes before they leave or as they're dying, they like they come and say goodbye to me and that's a way that they say goodbye, right? We, I was walking among them and I was walking among all the deceased and so all the rest of them were also telling me that this aunt in particular was going to pass away but I didn't understand the dream. So I cried a lot, I really, really cried a lot and most importantly, I was kind of disappointed myself because I just didn't get it and I didn't understand, but that's how dreams are and that's exactly what basically happens. So a testament to this aunt and to all the other aunts that were all siblings and um, I just, you know, am, in, am, am forever grateful for their kindness, their compassion and their love and their help that they did to me. They gave me so much help while I was a newlywed and while I was going through very, very trying hot times because because um, it, it's hard when you start up uh, a marriage and when you have nothing. And so they helped us tremendously. And so they are with me in spirit. 
So that's all I want to say. So I hope I hope this makes sense. And I hope that this is a tidbit and like a little insight on how people pass and when people pass, how it is that they say their goodbyes and how it is that they come across, you know, um, they came across very happy. They came across very joyful and they came across as they were walking with me down this path. And that's exactly what it is. They, they walk with me. They might not be physically here, but they are most definitely in spirit and I can sense them all the time and so this is a reassurance this is a confirmation through my dream first that she was gonna pass second that they are with me and that they very much love me namaste love and like